Back home in Washington, whether or not climate change is real still seems to be up for debate. But right here, 750 miles north of the Arctic Circle on the sea ice of Greenland, there is no debate at all. Climate change is real, it's happening, and this is ground zero. This is the coldest place, possibly the coldest moment I've ever experienced in my entire life. How is this ground zero for climate change? Thinning ice, shrinking ice cover. And that leads to climate change? Yes. This year, during the coldest part of the year, the Arctic experienced its warmest levels ever recorded and the second lowest sea ice levels. Collecting this data is central to NASA's Operation Ice Bridge, and we join them on their flight. This glacier is one of the few glaciers left in Greenland that still has an ice shelf at the end of it. In other words, floating ice that is attached to the original glacier. Hang tight. Hold on, guys. After a successful eight-hour mission, we landed back at the base. And even though it looks like a frozen tundra, the warming world may soon affect long-held traditions here, like dog sledding routes. Part of the reason that we came here was to go with NASA and to look at uh, the, the melting sea ice, climate change. It'll be very sad when the sea ice melts. This place may seem far away, but it turns out it's closer to home than any of us may have realized. Jacob Soboroff, NBC News, Thule Air Base, Greenland. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.